So here, the correlation analysis, we learn about this classification. The classification is, we want to know whether the tumor is dangerous or not dangerous. And we can use the decision tree analysis. And the other kind of analysis, we can use correlation analysis, such as the chi-square, chi-merge, yeah, chi-square based discretization. And we call this is the supervised. So we have the class information. And usually we can use the bottom up merge. We call this is bottom up because we want to start from the bottom or from the data. And then we try to find the nearest. If we have a lot of data, we want to find the similarity or we want to find the similar distribution. And we will merge it. So that's why we call this find the best neighboring in the box. So for example, if they have similar distribution or if they have similar value, we can merge it. And merge perform recursively. So it will be iterative until we have some stopping condition. Let's say if we want to stop until some condition, the group should be three, then yeah, we can stop. Another idea, I think you already know this thing before. In the attribute aggregation, we can do something similarly to this concept hierarchy generation. We call concept hierarchy generation because it organizes concepts. So what is concepts? Concept is based on the values and we want to perform hierarchically. Hierarchy means, yeah, we have from bottom to top. And it's usually associated with its dimension in a data warehouse. The concept hierarchies facilitate drilling and rolling. So we will learn more about this drilling and rolling in the data warehouse. Just the simple idea. You already learned from the attribute aggregation, we can drill down, for example, from the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So the Q1, I want to drill down to January, February, March. Okay, so we call this is drill down. Or I can roll up. So roll up means I know the city New York, Chicago, Arizona. So I roll up into the country, USA. So this is the concept of roll up. The concept hierarchy formation recursively reduce the data by collecting and replacing low level concepts. So low level concept means if you have something like numbers, like this one, you can make it as a higher level concept. So if it is higher, then we can aggregate. We can make a kind of summary. For example, if we have numerical values, H, we can make a higher level concept, youth, adult, or senior. Income, we can make the higher level concept, whether the income is low, medium, or high. And there are other, there are many other kind of concepts. So we call this is the concept hierarchy generation. The most common concept hierarchy generation 
we can see from the numerical data, but we can also see from the nominal data. In the numerical data, we can see from the data about age. We can make it the senior, we can make it youth and adult. But for the nominal data, for the nominal data, it specifies the order of attribute explicitly at the schema level. The schema level means I want to set up some kind of level. You know the street. Okay. We are in the Wederu. So this street level. If we go up then it will be in the city level. So Wederu it is in the Yogin Sea. And then we can go to the higher, which is state. Yongin Sea is in the Gyeonggi-do. And then we can go to the higher level, which is country, which is the Hanmingu, South Korea. Okay. The specification of the hierarchy for a set of value by explicit data grouping. So let's say in Yongin, we have Choingu, Sujigu, Gihengu. So those kind of set of values so in this example those are belongs in the illinois or we can also specify only a partial set of attributes only street which is belong to the city but not others so maybe you know we have the wang san uh, ri okay. Wang Sanri is also in the street of the Wedero, yeah. and it is belong to the Yongin, but there will be no other Wedero in other city. We can make the automatic generation of hierarchies of attribute levels by the analysis of the number of distinct values. It means that yeah, we can make a set of attribute with comma so what is the street and what is the city and what is the state what is the country so for example we can make wedero comma yongin comma yonggi comma korea this is one set yeah. or we can have another set of value mm, what is this? the row the i will there's something row okay in the mohyan sagori I, I forgot the name okay and then this also belong to yongin and we it belong to kyonggi and it belongs to korea so this is another set of values. So the set of this it has the street, city, state, and country in one set. But the other set is here. It is in the same level. As I mentioned to you, like Kihongu, Ujiku, and Koin. So they are in the same level and it belongs to the set in the domain city so it's visible but we can make in the different kind of set so the automatic concept hierarchy generation so we say that this one will make the automatically generated based on the analysis of the number of distinct values per attribute in the data set so for example yeah you have let's say 15 distinct values of country so if you select the countries in asia maybe we have korea we have japan and then we have china and then one 
you select one country, there might be a lot of other existing values. So it means there will be more. Just for example, we have 365. And then if you select the province, so after we have 365, so we can have more cities. If we have more cities, then it means we have more streets. So this automatic concept uh, is generated. We need to make this for every level so we can have this concept hierarchy generation. The attribute with the most distinct values is placed at the lowest level of the hierarchy. So the street it should be in the lowest level. But the exception is about the time. For example, weekday, month, quarter, year. So if it is related with time, sometimes we have some overlap. For example, month and quarter. It is kind of overlap. So if it is overlap, it is difficult to have the hierarchy generation. Okay, yeah, we have the discretization. What is discretization? The idea is we want to transform from the numerical to categorical. Okay. So this is the definition. Or the other definition is we want to transform the nominal or the categorical into some levels. We have the concept hierarchical generation. Can you mention some of the data discretization methods? So you learn some of the methods like pinning and then we have the histogram analysis and we just know something a little bit about clustering, efficiency and power relation. So at least you already learned about the pinning, histogram analysis and correlation analysis. So we will learn more later about these two. What is the difference between equal width and equal depth? So on the last learning check you learn, there is one question about the equal width and equal depth. If it is equal width, then we want to make it equal in the wall. But in the equal depth, it is based on the frequency. But in the concept hierarchy generation, there are two concepts, drill down and roll up. What is the difference? Drill down. So it means we want to go to the lower level. Roll up. We want to go to the upper level. So that's the difference. Okay, let's see from the orange. Let me use the iris data set at this moment. So I'm using the iris tab and I can define the discretization. <laughs> B 
discretize. As you know that we want to change or we want to transform from numerical data into categorical data. We know that those attributes are numerical. Now we want to make it as a discrete value or we want to make it as a categorical value. You can have equal frequency, equal width, or you can leave the data as numeric. It means you do not do the discretize. There are some other methods like entropy. I leave it this one. Or you can remove. Let's say you do not want to use this attribute. Or you want to change it with manually. So this two attributes. These two methods we learned before, equal frequency and equal width. And in this function, we can also do the individual attribute study. For example, for the SEPA length, maybe I will just leave them as numeric. But for the SEPA length, I want to make it as equal frequency. As the sample width, I want to make it as equal width. Okay. So it means for every attribute, you can set up your individual pattern. This one is based on the equal frequency. This one is based on equal width. Maybe the sample length, you want to remove it. And maybe for the sample width, you want to treat it as numeric. So we can have the individual setting. Let's say this one, I want to remove it. This petalit, I want to leave it as numeric. So you can open it with the data table. And the result will be something like this. The second one, now it has been in the Category. The category is in the interval. From this value and this is value, or below this value, or I think we have another. But now we put the range five. So there are five intervals. And the other thing is about the continuous. For the continuous, I guess uh, I need to have another data. If you still remember the tightening. Okay. For the tightening. We have the status, age, and sex, and we have the survive. So I want to continuize. What does it mean by continuize? If discretize, is to transform from numerical to categorical, Continuous is the opposite. We want to transform from categorical to numerical. So the discretize is to transform from numerical to categorical, but the continuous is to transform from categorical to numeric. How we need, how can we transform it? So there are some categorical features. For now, I will just 
give you one example first value as base if you see from the data table what you can see now all the data become numbers We have the value at the first time, it is categorical value. The value is first. Let's see. If you can open it with the same table, What you can see here, for every of this category, it will be in the form of column. Terrace equals to first, now it becomes one, because the value is one. But the terrace equals to second is zero, because the terrace is the first, not the second. And the terrace equals to third is zero. What about the x? The x adult is well, the x is adult, but here x equal to five, and it is zero. And we have sex one, it is male. Then what happened to the other entity? If you look at this one, you can see that there are two values of x, there are two values of sex. There are two values of x and two values of sex. Then If x equal to child is zero, then the x is equal to adult. Can you understand? Because x child is zero, so it is false. So the it is a job. What about the sex? If sex equals to male is one, then the sex equals to male. Let's see the other data. The data number one, two, five, five. The eighth child is one. Let's see the data in one, two, five, five. Okay. One, two, five, five. <coughs> the edge is child. So the edge child equals to one. So if the column name edge child equals to one, then it means one. The person is child. But if it is zero, then it is the other value. So they make the zero one zero one if it is binary. But what if the value is more than two? The status we have three values, then it will make three different colors. 
So if it is the same as is third, the third, the same as is third. So here is third equal to one, and the other is two. So that's the meaning by continuous. So there are many things we can select from the options. Uh, yeah, you can try later. The other option is most frequent value as base or the one attribute per value. Or you can ignore the multinomial attributes or you can remove the categorical attributes and so on. So we'll just learn the first value as base at this moment. Okay, you learn about uh, dimensionality reduction, numerical reduction, data compression, and you learn about the uh, data digitization. We transform the data by normalization. We transform the data to discretization with some methods and the function hierarchy generation. Okay. Any questions? And I will move to the second, the next PowerPoint about the similarity and distance. Similarity and dissimilarity. We call similar if we have the numerical data. Yeah, we can have also the similarity for the categorical data, but mostly we will do with the numerical. We will check later with the categorical data. So the similarity means we have a numerical measure of how alike two data objects are. Value is higher when objects are more alike. And it is often falls in the range of zero and one. So if zero, then the objects, two objects are not similar. If it is one, the objects, two objects are similar, okay? Because the value is higher when objects are more alike. So the higher is the more similar. Because the maximum is one, then one is the most similar, or you can say same. This similarity is about distance. It is also a numerical measure of how different two data objects. Lower when objects are more alike. So it is the opposite. So it is zero. Two objects are more similar. And we have a yeah, minimum dissimilarity is often zero. This is similar. And upper limit varies. So the upper limit, it can be until infinite. Sometimes we can have 100. Or sometimes we can have 1,000. Sometimes we can have 1 million. It depends on the data. So we call this distance. Another concept, we call it proximity. The proximity, it refers to similarity or dissimilarity. 
so it can be the similarity or it can be also the dissimilarity usually we have the data matrix you learn about the data in the table the data in the table we have data points so the data points means one data and then we have another data we have another data until this data as you know that we have this as object okay. we call this is object or we call it this is row or we call this is sample or we call this is example so you already learned from the beginning and we also have the dimension which is the column we can say dimension we can say feature we can say field we can say attribute we can say variable so this kind of matrix we can say the n data points and p dimension so n data points it refers to the number of rows and p dimension it means the number of attributes so we call this is two modes because we have the x and y when we have this kind of data we can generate the dissimilarity matrix we have n data points but registers only the distance we call this is later as a triangular matrix. Triangular matrix. We have only possible triangle. So the G21, it means the distance between the data in one and two. You can save it here. And we need to save it the distance one comma two. So, because we are the same, we can have only the triangle. Because this is the single mode. So, there are many other things we can learn about the proximity or similarity or dissimilarity. So, first, we will learn about the nominal attributes. If it is about nominal attribute, you know, it is category. So the category data, it can take two or more states. For example, the color. Okay. Color is nominal, okay. not ordinal. Please still remember what is the difference between nominal and ordinal. Nominal is just the category. Ordinal, we have yellow. So this is the nominal because red, yellow, green, blue, no order. Now I have this data. The person one, yeah, we have four attributes. The person one is wearing red shirt, black pants, white shoes, and yellow hair. And the person two is wearing blue shirt, black pants, white shoes, and orange hair. Now, I want to know whether they are similar or not you can use the simple matching simple matching means the number of matching divided by the number of variables 
So the formula will be P minus M divided by P. So P we have the number of variables and M we know that some variables are matches. From this one, the number of matches, how many of them are matches? Red and blue. Okay, it does not match. Black and black. Okay, it matches. White and white. Okay, it matches. Yellow and orange. So, it does not match. The number of matches, we have two. And the number of variables, we have four. So, based on this distance, we have four minus two divided by four. So, we have 50% or 0 0.5. Okay. So, 0 0.5 is the proximity. That's the first matter. We can just directly do the simple math. But, as I mentioned to you before, in the process section, we can do continuous. What is continuous? We can do continuous. We want to make every nominal attributes into the column name. So the first one, and then we have the attribute sir. The shirt is red. We know that the first one is wearing the red shirt, so is one. And the person two is you. Here, the skirt is blue. The first one is zero, and the first one two is one. What about the pen black? Because both of them are wearing the black pen, so it is one. Here's why. Because both of them are wearing the white shoes, here one. And also the hat, yellow and orange. So from this one, we can Calculate again the similarity. We can have the proximity measure if we know the difference between this one. The difference, if there is a difference, then yeah, the distance is higher. If it is equal, like this one, one minus one. Zero. One minus one, zero. So if the distance is more to zero, then they are more alike. They are similar. But if it is not the same, then the distance will be higher. So in this case, you can calculate by using this kind of difference. And yeah, usually we can have the absolute to distinguish to, to check the distance one minus zero yeah this is one we can make absolute zero minus one uh, this is minus one we can make absolute so it is two one minus one it is zero one minus one it is zero one minus zero it is one zero minus one it is one so in total, we have the distance is four. So we can really with another kind of attribute. In the first part, we have nominal. But what if we have binary? The binary data is similar with the previous one when we create the continuous. We can create this continuity table instead of the distance measure. 
is continuously stable. We have the Q, R, and S, and T. Q, R, S, and T. If the object 1 is 1, and if the object J is 1, then we will measure the number. The distance measure, if you still remember symmetric binary variables, what is symmetric? Symmetric, it means the same. Male, female, here it is. Or yes or no, here it is. Two, like two, so. We can use this formula. R plus S R plus S divided by Q plus R plus S. But if it is asymmetric, if it is asymmetric, do you still remember? What is asymmetric? We have the Different between one value and another value. For example, positive and negative. If you are tested positive COVID-19, then the government will put you in the different position. You need to be in a quarantine. So it means the positive is more important than negative. We have this distance measure R plus S divided by Q plus R. So the T between 0 and 0, then yeah, we can just omit it. We do not need to consider the T. Just consider the R and S and Q. And we can have another kind of measures. We call it the Jakarta coefficient. We use this Q divided by Q plus R plus S. Let's see this example. Uh, gender is symmetry attribute. So we have Jack, we have Mary, and we have Jane. And then gender is male female and male. So I want to know the distance method for the asymmetric binary variable. Here we have the fever. No. Stop. And there are some other tests. Test one, test two, test three, test four. And we want to check the positive. So if they are positive, so it is more important than the negative. So we can calculate. So the remaining attributes are asymmetric binary. So this is this is asymmetric. Check the values y and p go to one, and the value n go to zero. Now the distance between Jack and Mary. You can calculate that. Like so, we have one, zero, one, zero. And let's have this one as check. And let's have this one as Mary. When Jack is Y and Mary is Y, so it is 1. When Jack is N and Mary is N, so it is 0 and 0, we have 1. When the test one is P and this is P, so we have another 1, so it means we have 2. N and N, okay, so we have 2. 
and and p so the check is zero but mary is positive so we have one and we have n and we have n so here okay. so in this case we have two we have three here and we have one and we have zero so the formula said that is r plus s divided by q plus r plus s so what is r r is here s here so zero plus one divided by q q we have two plus zero plus one so we have this one zero point thirty three okay due to the time i think i will stop here we can continue on thursday so the quiz i think will be until the previous chapter okay i will not include this chapter thank you